Grilling is such a fun, easy way to prepare meals. But when the grease and grime build up over time, it's not so appetizing. Well, our queen of clean, Linda Cobb, is here, and she has just the trick to get our grills squeaky clean. Hello. Hey, Steph. Good to see I you again. I know you have great information with us. Yes, I do. This is a mess. Boy, I'll go away. say it is. It really is. And you know, there's some quick, easy ways that you can keep the grill clean. Okay. And the first thing is, is to throw away the grill brush. Instead, okay. what you want to do is just take some regular aluminum foil, roll it into a ball, and while the grill is warm, not hot, but still warm, you're going to take that ball of foil and just start and rub over the grill just like that. Now, if this were warm, it would be cleaning it up easily, but you can see that it takes off all of that dirt and you can Ooh. toss it when you're done. Wow. Makes this it is a so really much better. Dirty grill. Oh, it is. It's, it's a mess. And if it was warm, this would really clean up quickly and easily for us. Okay. Now, if we haven't done that, then we're going to have to do some heavy duty cleaning. So I want to show you how to do that. So, first of all, we're again going to take some aluminum foil and we're going to want to take some. Big pieces because we're going to wrap that all the way up. So we're going to wrap up the rack itself? We are. Ooh. So we'll turn this around and we're going to need another piece too. So I'll let you kind of pull that back. Let's take it right out. Okay. Oh, I'm so curious. Pull faster. Okay, just give it a tear there. Okay, now you notice I've got it shiny side up and that's okay. important. What we're going to do is we're going to take the rack and we're going to sit it in. Again, shiny side up, and we're going to start, and we're going to fold the foil around it. And if we can't get it all covered with this, we're going to take some other pieces, and we're going to run them the other way Here, I'll around. Do that. Okay, I'll pick it up. You slide it under. Very good. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay. The queen of clean is cleaning our grill. Now, once you've got it covered good, you're just going to push down the sides on it and everything. You're going to have a hot grill, the hottest that you can get. If it's gas, turn it up to preheat. Okay. If you've got charcoal on, let it get good and hot. Then you're going to sit it right back on the grill, and you're going to simply put the lid back on that, and you're going to let that cook for about 30 minutes. When you're done, let it cool down. When you're finished, you're just going to take off the foil, and all that dirt will be down inside the grill and wow. the paper, and it will not be on your rack. Very, very easy to do. Now, let's talk about simple. cleaning the outside of it. Let me just grab the lid here and stick it back on. How did you figure this out? Well, you know, that's why they call me the queen of You're clean. You're the queen of clean. You just come up with all of this Safe, stuff. Safe, natural, easy ways to clean with things we already have at home. Now, okay. this next one is cleaning the exterior, and you can do this for any grill at all. Let me just grab that from you. This is just a regular waterless hand cleaner, and you're going to be amazed at how easy this works. So we're just going to take some on a paper towel, and we're going to start, and we're going to work it into the exterior of the grill. Now, if you've got dirt, if you've got barbecue sauce on, whatever it is, all you're going to do is rub. You can see how it gets the dirt off. Then we're going to take a paper towel, and we're just going to buff that. Wow. And voila! New, clean, beautiful grill, and it protects it from the weather, too. Where do I find this? You can buy that at any hardware store or home center. Give it a try. See how easy okay. it is. Oh, right. Because it's totally simple, and it's not so messy that even the kids can't do it. And it's something even your husband won't mind doing. <laughs> so see, you're just rubbing it in easy, gentle work, and I'm... then you're just going to buff that off with a clean paper towel. That's the best suggestion you have. You teach us how to clean and exactly. then how to delegate. <laughs> see, even I'd rather talk about it than actually do it. So I want it to be quick and I want it to be easy. And use paper towels, not rags, because then you don't have to go clean up the rags. But look how great that it looks. looks great. Looks like it's brand new. Works the same way on a gas grill. Doesn't matter either one. Okay. Okay, now let's talk about what to do before you clean. Right. Okay, what you want to do is you want to take some nonstick cooking spray. And on a cool grill, before you turn it on, spray it on. It works just like it does in a pan. Food hmm. comes off, you can wipe it clean, quick and easy. And low fat. <laughs> yes, exactly. Now, if you're cooking with pans on your grill, one of the biggest concerns is that they always get soot all over the bottoms they and do, the sides. Yes. So just take a bar of soap. Any soap you have at home doesn't matter. Rub it across the pan just like that, and when you put it on the grill, when you take it off, all that soot and everything will wash right off. Wow. Very, very easy, very, very quick, and it makes cleanup just a total breeze. Wonderful. Okay, and what one last, this well, big bag? one last quick thing. If you don't want to clean the grill that we cleaned it that way with the rack and everything, what you want to do is just take your rack, wrap it in paper towels, 
spray it with straight ammonia, put it in a garbage bag, leave it overnight, step back the next day because there's going to be a lot of fumes, and then wipe it off, and it will be spotlessly clean. Anything certain that we should wipe it off with? Just, um, just wipe it down with the same paper towel that was on it. Then you're going to hose it down, put it back on the grill, let it cook for about five minutes before you put the food on. That gets the residue off of it. Does a great job every time. And one last really quickie that you're yeah, going to love please. is if the rack is dirty, throw it on the grass upside down overnight. It has to be a cool rack because we don't want rack on the, on the lawn, you know. Right. Throw it on the grass, the dew will soak the dirt right off of it. You're kidding. No. Overnight. That easy, that fast. Oh, that's brilliant. You're wonderful. Thank you.